got the Equinox 800 with a six inch coil on it. Got the Legend with a six inch coil on it. Let's do an EMI test and a depth test right now. Let's just turn the Legend on in multi one. Let's turn the Equinox on in multi one also. Full gain. That's all. Go into park program here. Multi frequency. Full gain on both machines. My iron's not on here. Full gain here, right? In the curb strip. This is what I've been talking about, right? Full gain. Swing fast, just iron. I'll drop it down here a little bit. Iron. I'll even turn them. Um, you can hear the the legend up there going crazy. I'll turn my recovery speed up a little bit here. Try 15 kilohertz here. Give it a little break here. I gotta be really careful because I do have a coil you're broken off on there, so I can't really be rough with this machine. I've never really been rough with this machine, but I've broken coil ears off of it before. Right. Ground balance here. Hope I don't break my coil off doing this. Iron. Iron. 15 kilohertz. Right. Full gain, multi one. Right. I want to ground balance this machine. Full gain. Now I'll go to 15 kilohertz. I'll ground balance it here. Could I do have hot soil? 15 kilohertz. Full gain. Turn my iron on here. That's what I'm talking about. I've got a park program here. 15 kilohertz. Ground balance here. I'll raise my recovery speed up. All right. 
to 10 park program here 15 kilohertz five inch deep, deep dime here now I'll go to field program turn my iron on ground balance make sure my um, recovery speed is at 10 ground balance again no EMI right I can run this thing anywhere I go full gain There's another coin right here. <laughs> another coin right there. I didn't know that was there till a couple days ago when I was using this coil on this. I've had this coin here for about two years, this five inch deep dime, and I didn't know there was another dime here. Hiding in the curb strip, hiding in my curb strip. I don't know what that other coin is, but it's definitely a coin. Now, if I can only take this $180 shaft and put it on the Legend. It's probably the last time you're ever going to see me use this Equinox ever. Pretty much. The Legend is outperforming it in every aspect. Every single place I take this legend, it's outperforming most of my machines. Pretty much all my machines. And in all around, just all around, it's outperforming every machine I've ever used. I don't know how good it does on the beach because I haven't had it at the beach, but in the relic dumps, you know, the day is two is going to beat it in the relic dumps, you know, by far, you know. But who knows what's going to happen with these new updates they're going to have for the legend. Everybody's been wanting to know how these two machines compare to each other. And there's... You don't see me in using the Equinox a lot in my videos because I just get so frustrated with that machine with the EMI. It's just at the <laughs> trying to push the machine, right? Everywhere, almost every place that I've taken that Equinox, it's just struggled with EMI, hot soil, separating iron, you know, with depth. It's, it's a deep machine, but I hunt in some pretty harsh places and I can't take that thing out in the harsh terrain because it'll just break, right? The coil here's broken on the right now, and I've broken two sc coil screws on my Equinox already, so I had to use my Nocta coil screw on that to get to patch it up, and you know, performance is not everything in machines. I really want a machine that I can continue to use and have it not break down on me like the Equinox has. Equinox has been a horrible build quality, just absolutely horrible build quality. And the EMI, of course, you know, I've struggled a lot with EMI. Struggled a little bit with the Legend at first with EMI, but that was with the bigger coil. With that six inch coil on that, that um, Legend there, I can crank it all the way up full gain go anywhere with it be hitting on some deep targets right i can separate targets out and trash too equinox no no i don't think so man this legend is freaking bad to the bone right all those equinox users are going to wake up eventually you know after their machine breaks a couple more times they're going to i wonder what the legend has to offer you know, they're going to watch all these videos and they're going to see guys out there swinging their Note the Legend around with the stock shaft on it, high gain, and smashing the crap out of the Equinox. And those Equinox users are going to have tape on their shafts and freaking screws in their shafts and broken coil ears. 
I get tired of that bullshit, man, having to repair machines over and over and over and over and over and over again. Just make a good product, man. People will buy more of them. The Note the Legend is going to be one of the best machines ever built. You mark my freaking word on that right freaking now. I've said that a couple times in my videos, but you just wait until a lot of people get this legend in their hands and you'll see the true potential of this machine compared to other machines. This little six inch coil is a freaking hot rod, man. It can go deep as I want in the curb strips. I've shown you live dig videos with it. It's just an amazing setup with the six inch coil. Who knows what's going to happen when they come out with those new coils for the Note the Legend. You know, maybe a 9 inch or a 5 by 9. The Equinox only has two coil sizes that I prefer. The 11 inch for going deep and the 6 inch for going shallow. But I really don't prefer to swing the Equinox anymore because it just breaks. It just can break and break and break and break and break on me, right? I don't want to have to deal with that bullshit, man. I've said it many times in the past. The Equinox is a good performer, but it's just a horrible machine. Just all together, just a horrible machine, right? I hate bashing machines, but I have that right to critique a machine because I have a thousand hours on that Equinox right there. Never found any silver coins with it. With the Note of Legend, I've gotten a silver coin with it my first week, right? And I've been just pounding the curb strips and just getting all kinds of stuff my other machines just skipped over. Because the small coil, the small coil is the trick. Being able to pump your gain up all the way. Get through the EMI. Get through the trash. There we go. There's a video that you guys have been waiting for. You know? The proof is in the live dig videos. What am I digging out with this legend? A lot of killer stuff, man. What have I dug out with the Equinox? It's been epic. I've dug a few gold rings out, but I haven't dug up. You know, the, the recovery rate on the Equinox is so low with me because I hunt in some high EMI spots and I'm not digging out nearly as many targets because I'm having to dial the machine in and swing it really, really gentle, not throw the machine around too much because I don't want to break it. But, you know, it, it broke several times, you know, I mean, the Equinox. The Note Legend, I've thrown and kicked this thing and it ain't going to break, right? It ain't going to break. And with the Note Legend, I can be a lot more rough with this machine. And I can dig out more targets because it can separate and it can pinpoint and it can get through the EMI. So I'm not pushing buttons. I'm not, I'm not having to dial the machine in. Just 15 kilohertz full gain or multi-frequency. If you know, if I can push it in multi-frequency, I just want to be full gain. Right? Full gain's the ticket with the smaller coils. And with the 11-inch coil, I don't have an 11-inch coil for the Equinox anymore. You know, I probably won't even swing the Equinox ever again. This will probably be my last video with the Equinox, to tell you the truth. Something else has come in to this hobby that has obsoluted the Equinox straight up. And that is the Deus II and the Legend. Straight up. You know, on the beach, it does very well on the beach. The Equinox does very well on the beach. I can't say much about the Legend. I've seen a couple videos where they're having some struggles with the legend on the beach. But the Equinox is subpar. It's subpar to today's technology and today's build quality. Right? Even, well, there we go. There's the video that you guys have been waiting for. Long live the Equinox. Another machine that I have retired this last month since I've gotten the Legend. I retired the Amphibio when I got the Deus II, and I and I retired my Simplexes when I got the Legend. Straight up. You guys saw the proof right there. The EMI is horrible. 
You know, I'm sure if you guys own Equinox, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys have a legend, or if you guys are getting a legend, what can you expect from the legend? High performance, great durability, and super easy to use. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.